Hello you guys, this is Kim, and in this reading we are going to take a look at the next seven days, find out what it is that you can expect, um, what the energy will be like, and so forth. So it's going to be a short reading, at least that is the intention. I will mostly be working with oracle cards, and at max I will be pulling out four cards in total. Okay, but let's now take a closer look at the representatives of each group. So there are five groups to choose from and starting off for group one, we have the Amethyst. For group two, we have a blue Calcite. For group three, we have a green Calcite. For group three, we have a rose quartz. And for group four, we have a fluorite crystal. Okay, so as always, take as much time as you need to meditate upon these crystals in order to see which one calls out to you because the one that calls out to you will be the reading for you. But once you have chosen, please head on over to the comment section down below as well as the description box where the timestamps for each group are provided so that you can skip right on over to your reading. Okay, but now that you have chosen, let's get right into your messages. Let's go! Hello you guys who chose the Amethyst, bienvenidos to your reading. So we are going to take a look into the next seven days, see what it is that you can expect. But before we get into the cards, I would like to share with you what I intuitively picked up on when connecting with the energy of your group. So the message that came to mind when tapping into this group's energy was waiting. So I feel like some of you guys are currently waiting for communication, for an answer, for a callback, or... The other thing I'm getting, it's like some of you are waiting for a sign, waiting for a green light. It could be from your spirit guides, from the universe, or from fate, destiny possibly. If this is currently your energy, then this came up to serve as confirmation that this is definitely your group. But if this isn't currently your energy, it could be that in the next seven days, something is going to come up that is going to encourage you or nudge you or inspire you to ask the universe for their opinion. Yeah, so universe, please let me know if I'm on the right path or universe, please let me know if I should take this offer and so forth. Um, so it could be that some of you will be getting an offer or you could be ne needing to make some very important decision or the other thing could be that you will be sending out an application or maybe reaching out to someone in the next seven days. And then that will result in you waiting or having to wait for an answer, a callback, a reply, etc. Um, but now I'm going to move into the cards. And it's interesting because you guys did choose the amethyst. Um, I always associate the amethyst with the crown chakra and the third eye chakra. And that's making me think of like downloads, receiving messages from spirit, intuitive messages. Yeah, so a lot of you could be getting an answer from the universe or your spirit guides in the next seven days. Um, okay, but let's see. Ooh, that was fast. So we have sacrifice with compromise, the number 39, and the message, there may be something in need of sacrificing to gain better balance in your life. And I'm just going to pull out a clarifying card. Okay, ooh. So we have the Queen of Swords with the number 42 and the energy of Amor. Mm, okay. Yeah, so when I was mentioning waiting for the universe to get back to you. I was thinking of a scenario where someone was possibly asking the universe about a significant other or a person of interest. Yeah, and with the Queen of Swords showing up here, who is a queen that is honest, truthful, direct, and blunt, I do feel like whether it's about love or about something else, you will be receiving an answer in the next seven days. And how the universe will communicate 
The information you have been asking for will vary for each one of you. It could come through in the form of a knowing, feeling certain about something, or it could come in the form of signs and synchronicities, or it could come in the form of actual, physical, concrete evidence. For example, let's say if you have been wondering out loud to the universe if someone is romantically interested in you, if they reciprocate your feelings, your answer will come in the form of your romantic interest coming towards you to express their feelings for you or in them presenting you with a romantic offer. Yeah, so just know that the answer will be clear and direct. And I feel like the more specific you are when it comes to your question or whatever it is that you're wondering about to the universe, the clearer and more direct the answer will be. Yeah, because I'm seeing these scales and it's making me think of balance, fairness. So whatever you're putting out there, it's exactly what you're receiving back. But as mentioned, for others of you, This could be getting a direct answer from someone that you were expecting an answer from. Yeah, so for example, let's say if you applied somewhere, then you will be getting an answer back in the next seven days. But because we do have this energy of sacrifice and compromise, and then the Queen of Wands is someone who is very strict with their boundaries, very independent. When they decide to let go of something, they let go of it. They don't look back. I do feel like in the next seven days, you are going to have to let go of something and it could be let go of it temporarily in order for you to focus on something that is requiring of your attention and focus throughout this time. So for example, let's say if you have a very important exam coming up, In the next seven days, you might need to sacrifice spending time on social media or binging your favorite shows in order to spend time studying for this important exam. Or what I'm seeing in specific is that some of you might need to sacrifice or compromise spending time with a loved one, with a romantic interest, with a romantic partner, because we do have the energy of Cupid here in order for you to focus either on your career, on your studies, or on personal matters. For those of you who are currently in a relationship, you could even be compromising with your partner about when you can get together, when you can spend some time together, because it could be that both of you are very busy or will be very busy in the next seven days. Um, So your schedule's kind of clash or there's a conflict in your schedule or because we do have a little cherub here um, for those of you who are parents you could be compromising with your partner about when you take on certain responsibilities like um, okay well we're both busy but tomorrow is your turn to take our kid to school or I woke up early today to check on the kids tomorrow it's your turn like something along those lines yeah so You could be needing to compromise in order to work something out with a significant other in the next seven days. Yeah, so if there has been conflict in your relationship, if there have been disagreements or if there has been this fight to kind of prove that someone's right and someone's wrong, um, maybe the advice here is to let go of this need to prove someone right or wrong and instead find the middle ground with your partner. Yeah, because again, we have the scales here, which makes me think of balance, finding some middle ground. The example that is coming to mind is a couple who is playing a board game. The aim is not to win the game, but it's just to spend quality time with your partner. It's just to have a good time with your partner. So it's not about winning, but it's about understanding one another. It's about working through your problems. It's about having open communication. It's about knowing that you can find some middle ground with your partner to strengthen your relationship and or your connection. Um, But, you know, it doesn't have to be with a romantic partner where you are needing to reach some compromise. Um, It could be just with a loved one, with someone that you have a platonic relationship with, like a family member. But I do see a lot of you guys needing to possibly sacrifice some short-term gratification (laughs) in order to focus on a long-term goal or work towards a long-term goal or just focus on something that requires of your focus in the next seven days. And for a lot of you, I do feel like what you will be called pay less 
attention to or focus on could be a romantic interest, someone that you have feelings for, someone who you are attracted to. Yeah, because I feel like for those of you who are currently seeing someone, starting to get to know someone in that romantic way, um, you could recently have been spending a lot of time invested in this person. Or it could just be that you have been up in your head thinking about love in general, romantic love, a lot. And your all your focus and your energy has been directed towards that. Possibly even trying to manifest a soulmate or trying to manifest your person or call them in or something like that. And I feel like this week something else is going to ask of your utmost attention and in order for you to give your 100% in this, you might need to kind of move your attention from this romantic pursuit or from the idea of love and again this doesn't have to be permanent it could just be temporary this reading is about the next seven days so it could just be in the next seven days you will need to spend less time on this thing that you usually spend a lot of time in that seems to bring you a lot of like short-term gratification yeah so the example that just came to mind it's like someone who is spending a lot of time watching love tarot readings or soulmate readings on youtube possibly in the next seven days you are going to need to cut back on how many hours you spend watching soulmate readings or tarot readings on youtube yeah because these scales are speaking about balance and i feel like um there has been some extremes this scale has been off balance so it's kind of like we need to level things out again so if you find yourself spending a lot of time doing one thing Maybe that's the thing that in the next seven days you're going to be called to spend less time doing or investing energy in or time in. Yeah, but now I'm just going to pull out some extra oracle cards to get any last messages and or advice from Spirit for the next seven days. So we have, don't worry about proving yourself or making your mark in this life. There is no ending to who you are. Your energy never ceases to be. Let me pull out one more card. So we have knowing what you don't want helps you find out what you do want. Spend more time focusing on what you want and watch your belief grow and desires come. Hmm. Mm, yeah. With this message, what is coming to mind is some of you could have been spending a lot of time thinking up scenarios that don't have you looking forwards to the future, like thinking of the worst case scenario or thinking of the worst possible outcome. And again, it's an extreme, right? We are leaning towards an extreme. And so for the next seven days, what is happening is that we're leveling things out. Yes, we're considering possibly the worst case scenario, but we're also considering the best case scenario. Or we are learning to see things from a more optimistic perspective. Like instead of seeing the cup half empty, we are starting to see it half full. Yeah, but these are all the messages we have for you guys. I hope you enjoyed this reading. I hope it brought some guidance and clarity. If it did, then please leave a like or a comment. If you are new to this channel and you want to stick around for more readings with me, Kim, then please do subscribe. I do offer personal readings. All the information is in my website and the link to my website can be found in the description box down below. Thank you so much for watching until the very end and a huge thank you to all of you who took a moment to let the advertisements play. That is a simple way to support me and to support this channel. So if you did, know that I truly do appreciate it. Yeah, but I'm wishing you a wonderful rest of your day and until next moment, bye bye. Hello you guys who chose the blue calcite. Bienvenidos to your reading. So we are going to look into the energy of the next seven days. So before I start pulling out the cards, I want to share with you what I picked up on when connecting with the energy of your group. So I kept seeing images of snow in my mind's eye. I saw someone skiing. I also saw snowfall. So I feel this could be interpreted in multiple ways. It could be that where you are currently reciting in the next seven days, it will be snowing or you might travel to or visit somewhere where it will be snowing or where there is snow. But if that doesn't resonate, I feel like 
the snow is indicating that in the next seven days, you are going to feel quite nostalgic or sometime during the next seven days, you are going to get hit with this strong feeling of nostalgia. Also, I keep seeing someone cuddled up, covered in blankets, trying to keep themselves warm or trying to keep cozy. Yeah, so I do see you guys spending a lot of times indoors within the next seven days. Or I see you preferring to stay at home, to stay indoors. Yeah, there's this overall feeling of just wanting to sit in contemplation, not wanting to do much or not feeling like doing much, simply being in stillness, being in comfort. Um, okay, but now I'm going to look at the cards to see what more info we can get. Ooh, that was quick. So two cards flew out. So we have a flirtatious with affectuous and the message a flirtatious energy may find you or you should seek it. Flirtations keeps your heart fluttering and beating more vibrantly. The butterflies need your belly right about now. Trust they will soon flutter your way. And we also have extroverted with animated. And the message and energy of excitement, chatter, socializing may come your way. It is needed. Spend time out. Okay, this is very interesting because it's the complete opposite energy of what I was picking up on. Hmm. But I do want to pull out a clarifying card. And we have the Six of Wands with number 42 and Lightning. Ooh, so there is this overall element of surprise. So something unexpected could be occurring sometime within the next seven days. Because Lightning always reminds me of the Tower in traditional tarot. And the Tower is about unexpected situations, changes, events. So I did pick up on a very chill, relaxed, mellow energy at the beginning before pulling out the cards. So it could be that you are going about your days, everything is pretty chill, nothing eventful is occurring, and then one day something unexpected happens that kind of gets you off your seat. And because we do have this energy of flirtations, for those of you who are single, you could be meeting someone that has you feeling giddy, quite excited, has you looking forward to the next day or looking forward to seeing them again. Yeah, and we do have this open door here and it's making me think of like doors of opportunity opening up for you. So for some, there could be an opportunity for romance, for love, possibly even for a fling in the next seven days. But what I'm mostly getting from these two cards, it's like feeling excited about something. So if it's not about someone, a person, you know, catching feelings for someone or finding someone attractive. It could be that you will be attending an event or doing something that is quite exciting or the energy around this event and or situation is one of excitement. So I do feel like some of you guys will be invited to go out and maybe there will be some hesitation or wariness to leave your safe space, to leave your home. But I do feel like there is an overall encouragement to take the invitation, go to this event, or to go out with friends if that happens to be the case. Because I feel like you will end up having a really good time or it might even be the thing that will help get you out of a slump if you are currently in one. Yeah, and it's also going to help welcome new energy into your energy field or into your life. And this new energy is one of motivation, one of excitement. The word acceleration just came to mind. It's one of movement. Yeah, because the Six of Wands is all about success, being celebrated, being seen. It's an energy of victory. Yeah, so for the next seven days, I do see new exciting energy coming into your space or into your life. This energy could be in the form of a person, someone who is quite extroverted, very motivated, very energized. Yeah, so if that happens to be the case, expect a visitor in the next seven days or expect someone to invite you to go out or expect to bump into someone. 
because we do have this energy of flirtatious, I do feel like this is someone who you will get along with or someone that you like or will end up liking. It could be in a romantic way, but it could also just be in a platonic way. Like you really vibe with this person. You enjoy spending time with them. I do get the feeling that um, whoever this person is, they do have a very infectious energy. Like their laughter or their excitement is quite contagious. So if this person is in a good mood and you're around them, you can't help but also feel in a good mood yourself. So this is someone who will definitely help lift your spirits if your spirits are quite down. Or they will help pull out the playful, adventurous, possibly even extroverted side of you. But if it's not a person, this could be an energy that is simply coming in in the form of inspiration or you feeling kind of this spurt of motivation, um, you wanting to go out all of a sudden, feeling inspired to start something new or feeling very confident because the Six of Wands can also speak about confidence. Yeah, the other vibe I'm getting with the Six of Wands is feeling very courageous adventurous. So I do see you guys trying something new within the next seven days or something that might seem a little out of your comfort zone or might seem a little out of character for you. Yeah, because I did get images of skiing. Some of you could be trying skiing. The other thing that is coming to mind is rock climbing, hiking. Yeah, so whatever it is that you're doing, whatever activity you're participating in, there does seem to be like this risk factor. So you could be doing something that is quite exciting, exciting to you, or might be seen as risky, you know, like getting on a roller coaster or rock climbing or bungee jumping. <laughs> yeah, the other thing that is coming to mind, it's like an extreme sport. I'm being reminded of SpongeBob <laughs> when he does all these crazy activities with Sandy before she goes into hibernation. So it could be a, a friend or someone else who kind of pulls you or drags you with them to do some of these activities. Yeah, but I do feel like there is an overall advice to spend a little more time outside. If you're not a very physically active person, maybe try some physical activities. They don't have to be extreme sports, but it could be something like maybe riding a bike or taking a walk around the block or swimming, just some physical activity. Yeah, because I do feel like a lot of you are currently in a slump or you're feeling quite stuck or maybe possibly even feeling quite unmotivated and getting your body moving or trying out something new that gives you that butterfly feeling will help kind of the energy, the motivation, the inspiration start flowing again. Mm, um, I have heard... Carrie from the channel Kino Taro often interpret the Six of Wands when it comes to love and relationships, romantic love to be more specific, as being a card that indicates going public, like publicly announcing your relationship with someone. Yeah, so for those of you who have been seeing someone or dating someone, I do see you either going steady or entering a committed relationship or announcing your relationship to others, to your family, to your loved ones. Or for those of you who are currently interested in someone but you haven't yet expressed your feelings towards them, these cards are, could be indicating that you will be expressing your feelings to this person. And because we do have this energy of victory, if you do decide to express your feelings to someone, I do see your feelings being reciprocated or your expression of love being taken well. <laughs> yeah, so if you're expecting an answer, I do see you getting a positive answer, answer that you wanted or were hoping for. But you know, this could be the other way around. This could be someone coming towards you to express how they feel about you. And I do want to say that if you do decide to go out, you are going to be the center of attention. I do see all eyes on you. You are going to get a lot of compliments. It could be because of your outfit or your beauty or your overall vibe, your amazing personality. But I do see you getting a lot of compliments or there will be... If it's not many, there's going to be at least one person who is going to try and flirt with you. 
Yeah, so I definitely do see you feeling very confident, feeling very good about yourself sometime during the next seven days. I do want to say, because we do have the energy of the Six of Wands here, you're definitely receiving some good and positive news. I also see you succeeding at something. So there is this overall vibe of success, of triumph, victory. Um, yeah, but just to wrap up this reading, I do want to pull out an oracle card to get any last messages and or advice from spirit. So we have... Good things are happening to you too. Remember this and know there is plenty for everyone. And I want to pull out another card. Mm. I do. I am picking up on a little bit of like envy and jealousy. Um... This could be coming from someone around you, but I will be honest, I am feeling like it's coming from you guys. So there could be someone that you compare yourself to, or maybe there is someone who you tend to put on a pedestal, or there could be something about someone or a group of people that you admire, that you wish you had. And if that happens to be the case, I do feel like Spirit is saying what you see in them that you admire or you wish you had is something that you can create for yourself or it is something that you yourself have in abundance. Yeah, so like for example, um, if you really love someone's personality, if you think someone is very, very fun, Spirit is saying, don't worry about it because you also have an amazing personality. You also are very, very fun. Um, and I feel like that is going to be shown to you in the next seven days because I feel, like I said, I do see you being the center of attention. I do see you getting a lot of compliments, praise. Something will be happening this month that will really help boost your morale is what I'm getting. Yeah, look, I just noticed we have this person standing at the top of the mountain. So it's going to make you feel like you're at the top of the world or like you are in par with the people that you admire. Um, but the last message is, everyone is emitting a vibrational signal. Shift your vibration rather than words you are offering. Then you have true control of what you are attracting. Okay, but these are all the messages we have for you guys. I hope you enjoyed this short reading. If you are interested in a personal reading, all the information is in my website and the link to my website can be found in the description box down below. And as always, if you enjoyed this reading and if you're new to this channel and you want to stick around for more readings with me, Kim, then please do subscribe. Yeah, but that is all for now. Wishing you a wonderful rest of your day and until the next moment, bye-bye. Hello you guys who chose the green calcite, bienvenidos to your reading. So we are going to look at the next seven days, find out what it is that you can expect, what the energy will be like and so forth. But before I start pulling out cards, I do want to share with you what I intuitively picked up on when connecting with the energy of your group. So there were a couple words that came to mind which were locate and location. And there was a message that also came to mind which was reaching for the doors. So this could be indicating that in the next seven days you will be hunting for a new apartment, a house, a residence, or you will be looking for a location in which to open a shop, start a business, set your studio or your workshop or your office. And if that resonates with you, because the message reaching for the door came to mind, I do feel like you will be finding the perfect spot, <laughs> the location, um, the place in which you will be settling down in or establishing your business, your studio, etc. Yeah, so some of you could definitely be getting the keys to your new apartment or to your new house um, in the next seven days. But now I'm going to move into the cards. Ooh, that was fast. So we have, ooh, luck is on your side. Allow the gems to fall at your feet. And this is the card numero 80 and the key terms jackpot with fortunate and pleasure. And to clarify this energy, let 
Let me card, please. Ooh. We have ooh, the Knight of Swords with number 52 and the Chep Chepford. Yeah, so at the beginning, I was going to say that the message reaching for the door could be indicating that a door of opportunity will be opening up for you, but for whatever reason, I didn't say it. Um, and then with this jackpot card, I do feel like that is being confirmed. In the next seven days, a door of opportunity is going to open up for you. Yeah, and this is quite unexpected. You will be feeling like you've hit the jackpot. The Knight of Swords speaks about big changes and or opportunities. It also speaks about seizing the moment. So the vibe I'm getting here is whatever this opportunity or offer is, is one that is coming your way. It's one that you didn't really search for or do anything to try to obtain it, which is why it is so unexpected. So a crazy, a crazy excessive example that is coming to mind is like finding a lottery ticket on the floor that happens to be the winning ticket. <laughs> you know, something like that. This could also be indicating that you will be finding money on the floor <laughs> or something that is of value, you know, like a necklace or a ring. It could be that in the next seven days, someone is going to be gifting you something something valuable but the other thing i'm getting is that something that you did and or created in the past is going to bring you much reward and or profit in the next seven days so an easy example that comes to mind is someone who's had a youtube channel for five years a video that they created three years ago is going to go viral so another example that is coming to mind is let's say you applied somewhere for work a year ago but you never got a call back and in the next seven days you are getting a call from that specific place you applied to a year ago offering you a job yeah so something that you did in the past you created in the past or you took action towards the past is reaping you much reward or is presenting some opportunity and or offer to you in the next seven days yeah and because we do have this energy of a the Knight of Swords, which is a court card. This could even be a person. Ooh, so what is coming to mind, it's like someone that you bumped into in the past or you had a brief encounter with is making a reappearance in your life in the next seven days. And this is someone that you felt quite disappointed about having such a brief encounter with them because you really liked them. You know, it's like someone that you bumped into or you briefly connected with, but then you had to go your separate ways and you always wondered, what if I had spent more time with that person or you were always hoping to see them again? And then in the next seven days, you are getting an opportunity to reconnect with them. Yeah, and because there is that energy of the Knight of Pentacles, um, I do feel like there is an advice from Spirit to take a leap of faith in the next seven days. Whatever offer and opportunity is being presented to you, and if it looks like a really good offer for you, go for it. Seize the moment. But I also feel like you yourself are going to feel very much in love with life in the next seven days. You are going to feel very connected to your life or to your journey. You are going to feel very lucky or very blessed in the next seven days. So I am picking up on this energy of gratitude, feeling grateful for where you are in life, for what you have, for the people who are around you, for the experiences that you have lived and so forth. So I also see you being very in the moment in the next seven days and taking each day as it comes. And I also see you being quite direct in the next seven days. Like if there is something that you want, you're going for it. You're not hesitating. You're not doubting. You're not running it by others. You're not asking for other people's opinion, whether you should go for it or not. You're just going for it. If it feels right to you, if it calls to you, you're aiming towards it. And I also get this feeling of allowing with these two cards, like allowing for your blessings to come to you, allowing for the opportunities for the offers to come to you. There's no feeling of chasing or of forcing 
in the next seven days. There's a pretty chillax, relaxed kind of vibe coming from this group. Yeah, so I did mention how some of you could be apartment hunting um, or hunting for a location for a spot. And yeah, I feel like if you have been on the hunt for a while, in the next seven days, you are going to kind of release control or surrender this hunt to the universe. And the moment that you do that is when the perfect apartment comes to you. It's like when you're not even looking, you find exactly that what you want. Like maybe you're just going out for a walk, for a stroll down the block, and then you stumble upon a location or a place that is to your liking, that is up for rent or up for sale, and that ends up being the place you are settling down in. Yeah, and some of you could literally be making a very... The word impulsive came to mind. You could be making an imp impulsive purchase, but... The vibe I'm getting, it's like making a purchase on the spot. Yeah, so this might seem a little drastic, but what is coming to mind, it's like all of a sudden you get this feeling to travel and you purchase an airplane ticket on the spot. You don't wait. It's like making plans on the spot, taking action on the spot, not hesitating. This could even be something like if you see someone that you are attracted to or you see someone that you've been dying to speak to when you see them you just go up to them you talk to them you strike up a conversation with them it's like you're not waiting for permission and by permission i'm not talking about consent that's more like permission from the universe you're not waiting for a divine sign or a sign of fate or destiny you're just taking action you're going for it and seeing how things turn out yeah and i feel like when you do this, when you take immediate action, when you follow your gut, so when you go for the things that you want, um, you will get good results. There will be a good outcome because we do have this energy of jackpot. So I feel like that will only kind of reinforce or strengthen your trust in yourself um, or kind of build your confidence is what I'm getting. Or kind of reinforce this idea that you are the creator, the leader of your own life. The other thing I'm getting with these two cards is that if you have been trying to manifest something, especially like some some material thing, expect for this manifestation to come into fruition in the next seven days. Because I am getting this vibe of like the law of attraction. So if you have been working with the law of attraction or the law of assumption, you are going to see results um, in the next seven days. Because I do see something coming towards you. Yeah, and I feel like you are attracting this or manifesting this because you're no longer worrying about it. You're not forcing for it to happen. You're allowing. That's the main energy here. Allowing. You surrender control and, and then things happen. You allow for the universe to do their thing. <laughs> you allow for the universe to work. And then things happen. Things come in for you. Ooh, the song Holding Out for a Hero by Bonnie Taylor just came to mind. So if you happen to hear that song play on the radio or it comes up on your playlist or you just happen to hear it when you're out and about, that could be a sign from the universe or from your spirit guides that your manifestation is about to come into fruition or that you are about to bump into someone or you are about to stumble into this opportunity or this offer or that you are about to hit the jackpot. Ooh, yeah, because I do feel like it's possible some of you guys have been attracting a meeting. You could be attracting a specific person, but I'm seeing more like attracting or trying to manifest an opportunity to meet someone or have a one-on-one -on -one interaction with a specific someone. And if that happens to be the case, um, yeah, I definitely see this manifesting for you in, this, in the next seven days. And with the energy of the jackpot, I get this vibe of like a beautiful experience, having a beautiful experience or creating a beautiful memory from this meeting, this interaction. Oh, and if you're going to an interview or getting interviewed in the next seven days, giving a presentation, making a proposal and or negotiating something, I do see you guys doing very well or things going very well for you because the jackpot gives me this vibe of success winning something so like if you're going to a job interview you're hitting the jackpot you're getting the job if you're making a proposal 
your proposal is being taken well. You're presenting something, your presentation is going to be a success. So things will go well for you in the next seven days. Um, okay, but now I want to pull out some oracle cards to get any last messages, advice, and or guidance from Spirit. Ooh, okay. So we have exciting new opportunities are abound. Take a chance and change your life. Well, wow, that is just confirming this entire reading. Um, okay, and then we have do something creative and play as often as you can. This will renew your energy. Okay, so there we have it. These are all the messages we have for you guys. I hope you enjoyed this reading. I hope it brought some guidance, some clarity. If it did, then please leave a like or a comment. If you are new to this channel and you want to stick around for more readings with me, Kim, then please do subscribe. I do offer personal readings. All the information is on my website and the link to my website can be found in the description box down below. Yeah, but wishing you a wonderful rest of your day or night, depending on when you have tuned in to this video. And until the next moment, bye bye. Hello you guys who chose the Rose Quartz, bienvenidos to your reading, where we are going to take a look at the next seven days, find out what you can expect, what the energy will be like, and so forth. So before I get started, I do want to share with you what I intuitively picked up on when connecting with the energy of your group. So the message that came to mind was learning to let go. So this could be indicating that in the next seven days you are going to learn how to let go of control and practice being comfortable in the uncertainty in the unknown or simply practice being comfortable in letting someone else take control or take charge but i also feel the message letting go is referring to learning how to let go of certain emotions or what i'm getting in specific is letting go of certain grudges or feelings of resentment yeah so in the next seven days you could be finding out or becoming aware that you still have some resentment towards someone or that you are still carrying around feelings of anger and pain towards someone and that will guide you to start working on processing these emotions in order to fully let go of them. But for others of you, this could be speaking about learning to let go of a relationship, a connection, or of the idea of someone. Um, yeah, but now I'm going to move into the cards to see what else we can learn about when it comes to the next seven days. Oh, that was fast. <laughs> so, ah, we have take a second look with details, the number 60, 68 and the message, your first judgments on a specific something may not be all there is to see. Take a second look, there's more than meets the eye, okay? And to clarify, We have, I believe this is the Knight of Wands with the number 45 and the Order. Okay, so in the next seven days, you are being advised to take a second look or take a closer look at something that is being presented to you. With the Knight of Wands being here, I do feel like someone might be coming back in the next seven days um, because I did speak about possibly letting go of a relationship, a connection, or a person in the intuitively channeled messages. It could be an ex or an old fling um, or someone that you had feelings for in the past that will be making a return in the next seven days. Now, I do want to be clear about this. Someone coming back into your life is not an indication or a sign that you have to reconnect with this person, you have to reconcile with them, or that you have to get involved with them, or let them back into your life. Because whether you reconcile and or reconnect with someone, that is up to you, that is your choice. Because with the take a second look card, I do feel like there is kind of a heads up to, you know, not get carried away by 
past emotions or by the past or what happened in the past. And we did get that message at the beginning of learning to let go. So multiple interpretations are coming to mind. So the first interpretation is, you know, someone of your past literally making a comeback in the next seven days. And this being a heads up to be careful as to not see this person through any specific lens, you know, a lens of the past or a rose tinted lens or a cracked lens. Make sure to see this person with clear eyes because what I'm getting in specific is pay close attention to this person's actions and not so much their words because this could be someone who's very good at talking. Um, they're very good at persuading others through communication, but it's like their words don't match their actions. If this is someone who is making a return to promise you that they have changed, that they are a different person, and so forth, but you notice that they are still behaving reacting, responding the same way, then you know that this person is possibly not being so honest when they say that they have changed and or transformed. Um, so it's like take a closer look before you allow this person into your life or before you fully trust this person or, you know, kind of take their word. Um, the other thing I'm getting is that there could be someone coming back who has changed, who is a completely different person. And so it's sort of the same thing. Um, be careful as to not judge this person by past experiences or who they were in the past. You know, again, it's up to you whether to give this person a second opportunity or not. All that these cards are saying is be careful as to not judge this person based on the past when they are showing that they are a completely different person in the here and now. Because if you do choose to judge this person based on who they were in the past, you will be missing out on a completely new person. It's like this person is standing over here. But instead of you looking at this person that's standing right in front of you, you're looking over here, you know, at a past version that doesn't exist anymore. And so it's kind of like you still being stuck on the past, not moving on from the past. Um, but the other interpretation that is coming to mind is that it's possible that some of you guys could be judging something or someone based on a past experience. So an example that is coming to mind, it's like in the past, you had a terrible experience with someone who was named John. And after that terrible experience, you have come to the conclusion that all Johns are terrible. It's kind of like generalizing or stereotyping something or attaching one specific experience to a group. In this example, it's attaching that negative experience with the name John, even though the name itself has nothing to do with that terrible experience. It just happened to be that that person you had a, a terrible experience with was named John. So yeah, it could be that in the next seven days, you will be misjudging someone or judging someone or something based on an experience that you had in the past. It could be a positive or it could be a negative experience. So it's kind of the same thing. Be careful as to what lens you are seeing through, you know, because if you are judging someone based on a positive experience that you had in the past, you could be missing out on a lot of important information about this person that might change your opinion about them if you were aware of them. Yeah, so be mindful of the details. Take a second look, take a closer look. And because we do have the energy of the order here, um, this is also making me think of like contracts, agreement, legal and important documents. Um, so some of you could be given an important document or asked to sign an important document or a contract. And if so, if you are making some important agreement in the next seven days, this is a heads up to read through everything. Every document that is given to you, read through it, go over it multiple times, read the fine print. 
If there are some things that you are not so clear about, make sure to ask about it. Get the clarity that you need. Don't sign something or agree to something that you are not sure about because it might kick your butt later on. So yeah, don't be impulsive. Don't rush into anything. The Knight of Wands can be quite reckless and impulsive at times. So take your time. Take your time. We do have this energy of take a second look. So take your time. If you need to take something home with you, if you can, then do so in order to read over it or study it better or look through it. This could even be talking about a purchase. Before making a very expensive purchase or purchasing a very expensive item, make sure to check that item. See that it isn't broken, that it isn't faulty. Make sure that it comes with a warranty or a guarantee. Double check. And the vibe I'm getting here, it's like even if someone looks trustworthy, like for example, um, if you are purchasing something off of someone and the person looks super trustworthy and reliable, still, you know, don't be shy. Don't hesitate to double check. Don't hesitate to ask questions. Don't hesitate to ask for the documentation or to ask for proof of something if you need it. Yeah, the message that just came to mind is checking your work. Um, so the other thing I'm seeing is that someone of authority or a higher up, or it could be a colleague, could be checking your work in the next seven days. Or you could be asked to or feel called to check on the work of someone else. But the vibe I'm getting here, if, if there is nothing to hide... If people have been doing their work, if people have been responsible, then there is nothing to worry about. Yeah, so because that message of someone could be checking your work did come up, this could just be a heads up from Spirit to be super detailed when it comes to your work. Double check it. Um, before sending an email, double check it. Be diligent. Be mindful. Try not to slack off in the next seven days. Don't leave things to the last minute, maybe. Try to keep on task if you can. If for whatever reason um, you are not able to check everything off your checklist or to do something before a deadline, then, you know, don't try to hide it or lie about it is what I'm getting. Like, if you can be upfront about it, um, then it's recommended for you to do so. Because I feel like that will benefit you a lot more than if you try to hide it or you try to lie about it or make it as if you didn't know or something like that. Yeah, I feel like you will be rewarded is the vibe I'm getting with this order card for being honest, for being upfront and for giving a notice when it comes to it. Like if you're not able to fulfill something for whatever reason, maybe it's a personal reason of uh, being upfront about it. Yeah, because it will show that you are responsible or it will show that you care about your work or you care about where you work instead of being caught, you know? Also, because we have this energy of order, it is advised that for the next seven days, being orderly, organized, or maintaining order will be super important because it is possible that you might be misplacing some items. And if you do happen to misplace an item with this energy of taking a closer look, know that that item hasn't been lost. You will find it. It's just been misplaced. So take a closer look. Try to recall when was the last time you saw it or where you last left it because you will find it. And you will be finding it sometime in the next seven days. Yeah, so there's just this overall vibe of double checking, being organized, going over something, being meticulous. The other thing that is coming to mind with the word order is if you have recently ordered something or if you do order something in the next seven days, there could be some delays or there could be some problems with your order. Like if you're requesting for something, the request might be not received on time or it might get lost in the mail. I'm seeing like email or just the mail in general, like the post office. Or it might be sent to the wrong address because there, there is something about like documentation or filling out an order that is coming through. So it could be that when you fill out an order or when you request 
for something, you could be leaving out some information or maybe accidentally writing down the wrong address. So that's why there was that message of double checking everything before sending it out. Yeah, so you might not be getting your order on time. It might be delayed, but I do see you getting it nonetheless. So things will be resolved. Either you or someone else will figure out what the issue is and resolve it within the next seven days. Yeah, so that's kind of like the heads up um, for the next seven days. Yeah, because I do get this vibe of like needing to supervise something. Needing to get updated or needing to update someone or just not leaving something to the last minute. Yeah, but those are all the messages I am seeing here. So now I'm just going to pull out extra oracle cards to get any last messages, advice, and or guidance from spirit. Oh, okay. So we have, you are never stuck. You have endless choices. And we also have care about the way you feel, practice the art of allowing, and guide yourself in a more unconditional way. I do feel called to pull out another card for you guys, so I'm going to do that. Okay, and we have good things are happening to you too. Remember this and know there is plenty for everyone. Okay, so these are all the messages we have for you guys. I hope you enjoyed this reading. I hope it brought some guidance, some clarity. If it did, then please leave a like or a comment. And if you're new to this channel and you want to stick around for more readings with me, Kim, then please do subscribe. I do offer personal readings. All the information is in my website. And the link to my website can be found in the description box down below. Yeah, but that is all for now. Wishing you a wonderful rest of your day or night, depending on when you're watching. And until the next moment, bye-bye. Hello Seekers, who chose the Fluoride Crystal. Bienvenidos to your reading. So we are going to take a look at the next seven days, what you can expect, what the energy will be like, and so forth. But before we get into the cards, I would like to share with you what I picked up on when connecting with the energy of your group. So what came to mind when tapping into this group's energy was the word walking. So some of you guys could be taking long walk or could be walking a lot more than usual in the next seven days. I am seeing someone taking a walk around the block or maybe doing power walks. Or if not walks, you could be doing some physical activity in the next seven days that are not so intense, you know, like stretches or yoga for beginners. Or some of you could be doing some physical therapy um, in the next seven days. And I do see that whatever this physical activity that you will be doing, it is something that will benefit your health a lot. So it could be your physical health, but also your mental health. Okay, but now I'm going to move into the cards. Yeah, so I am seeing or I am sensing improvement. Yeah, so for example, you decide to take long walks or take a walk around the block, um, you could be seeing an improvement in your mental health. You feeling more clear-headed or you feeling a lot more grounded or, or a lot more balanced. Or if you are doing some physical therapy or stretches, if you were experiencing some physical pain or discomfort, you will be experiencing less of this pain or discomfort. Or you could be seeing a change in your posture. A, sh a positive shift in how you feel in your body or something like that. But let's see what else we can get for the next ooh, seven days. So we have judgmental number 49 with critic and the message leave any judgments behind specifically of yourself. All the judgments in the world should only come from menial people who don't have anything better to do with themselves. And these people do not need your energy. Okay, and to clarify this energy, we have the Four of Pentacles, number 27, the dog. Yeah, so with there being a television here and then an image of a dog, I do see a lot of you spending less time indoors or spending more time outside. And what I'm seeing in specific is spending less time on screen. 
So it could be in front of the TV, in front of a computer, a tablet, or spending less time on your phone. Yeah, and the vibe I'm getting here is the less time you spend on screen, the more you are going to see a change or a shift in your mood or in your mental well-being. You are going to feel more clear-headed, more level-headed. Um, this image of a dog is giving me the vibe of someone feeling renewed, someone feeling fresh, someone feeling light-hearted and energized as well. Yeah, so the vibe I'm getting here is the less time you spend on screen, the more energized, healthy, and or stronger you will feel. So, for example, if your job requires for you to be in front of a computer, then this will be referring to you not spending so much time on your phone after work or during your free time. Yeah, it's like if you don't have to be in front of a screen, then you won't. Yeah, because with this energy of judgmental and then the Four of Pentacles talks about holding on to things, I do feel like you guys are very sensitive to energy or it could be that in the next seven days you are going to be very, very sensitive to energy. So we can connect with others energetically without physically interacting with them. We can pick up on energy simply from watching something on screen or reading something. Or listening to something. Yeah, so for example, let's say if you're watching a gossip feed or you're watching someone being judgmental or critical about someone else, then you watching that, you interacting with that kind of content, you are picking up on that energy. Which is why sometimes when we spend hours and hours on social media, we can end up feeling pretty funky, pretty tired, lethargic, heavy, frustrated, irritable, you know, because it all depends on what kind of content you are engaging with. So the other thing that is coming up here is you being mindful of the kind of content you are consuming yeah so with the four of pentacles being here it could be that you're going to go through a social media detox or um, you could be unfollowing a lot of people on your social media accounts or in the next seven days you are being more selective about who you watch who you listen to what you engage with what you consume and you are going to note a difference a difference in your mood, a difference in your energy, a difference in your overall health. Yeah, because with this um, fish in a bowl, it's giving me this vibe of a mindlessness, like mindlessly watching something or watching something that, not, that is not very engaging or is not very constructive or doesn't add anything of value to your life. Yeah, and the other thing I'm getting from these two cards is being overly stimulated. Like, for example, let's say if you are a creator and recently you haven't been feeling very inspired, and if you have been consuming a lot of content, it could be that you are overly stimulated. Or if you, recently you've been feeling very bored, it could be the same thing, that you are consuming so much content that you are being overly stimulated. You know, because our brains, they also need a break. If, if we're seeing so much color, if we're hearing so much sound, if we're engaging with so much variation, it can tire our brain out. So um, what I'm seeing here is you taking a break from all this stimulation and in doing so, feeling reinvigorated and feeling re-inspired. Yeah, because I feel like when we're bored or feeling uninspired, our reaction to that is to consume more. But that only tires out our brain even more because it doesn't allow for us to get creative because we're all we're doing is consuming. So what I'm seeing happening in the next seven days is that you're taking a break. It's not that instead of you're consuming, you're producing. I just see you taking a break, like not doing either or or consuming or producing in small amounts like um, you might spend 30 minutes watching a video or reading a book um, and you might spend another 30 minutes maybe doodling, drawing, having a conversation, cooking, um, creating something. Or if you're currently working after work, instead of watching a super intense movie, you are deciding to take a nap or um, like do something that is more soothing. Go outside, take a walk, or if you have an animal companion, 
Go on a walk with your animal companion. Yeah, because I see some of you feeling tired of the same old, same old, same old, same old. The feeling I'm getting, the sensation I'm getting is of someone kind of, when they've eaten too much or eaten too much of the same thing and they're like feeling nauseous or sick. That's kind of what I'm sensing. Yeah, so I feel like some of you guys are going to feel quite bored or tired of feeding your brain or your mind so much of the same thing. It's even come to this point where you can't like you can't do this anymore like it's not satisfying you anymore it's not bringing you any type of gratification anymore and so you're moving on to something else something better but because we do have this energy of judgmental and then the dog speaks about friendship and loyalty um if there is any gossip going around in the next seven days or if there's anyone being quite judgmental or being quite snarky or you know giving their unwanted opinion or something like that i do feel like there will be someone who will have your back or someone who will stand up for you or someone who will be there as support or will support you um i do see you having a very loyal friend or loyal companion so the vibe I'm getting here is that you you are not alone, you will not be alone. Or it could be that if you are up in your head about something that someone said, this friend here, this companion, this partner will help you get over it or will be there to reassure you, like not to overthink this or not to give this a second thought. Or if it is you being judgmental, being very self-critical, I do see someone being there for you to stop you stop you right on your tracks to keep you from going down this rabbit hole i do see you receiving supportive and and or encouraging words from someone from a loved one um, it could even be from an animal companion maybe you're having a bad day you're feeling down you're starting to be hard on yourself and then your animal companion senses that you are going through something and they come to you to offer you support to show you love and affection and that kind of changes things for you it gets you out of this funk out of this mood it keeps you from going down this rabbit hole yeah but i definitely see someone encouraging you someone supporting you someone reassuring you the vibe i get with the four of pentacles is of someone being an anchor for you or someone being kind of a support for you a pillar for you what just came to mind is not letting you fall i will not let you fall i am here for you um yeah but now I'm just going to pull out some oracle cards to get any last messages and or advice from Spirit for the next seven days. Okay, and we have... Procrastination simply means you are not energetically ready. Don't push. You will get what you need done when you are ready and it will be effortless. Yeah, we were talking about how some of you will be consuming less, but you consuming less doesn't mean that you have to produce or produce more. Yeah, so again, if you are feeling unmotivated or you're not feeling in the mood to work or to create or to produce, um, then don't force it don't push yourself as mentioned our brain and literally we have like these this web <laughs> or this transmission emitting from this person's head so like our brain also needs a break needs rest consuming and producing it's all activity so if you feel inspired to take a step back to go in introspection to just chill you, you know not take any form of action go with it don't feel guilty don't feel bad about it sometimes doing nothing is necessary because doing nothing is doing something it is helping you to recenter it is helping you to reboot in a way it is helping you to clear your mind yeah and it's interesting this web over here it's making me think of like antennas transmission and then we do have the tv here with its antennas yeah so inspiration will come to you but when you're not forcing for it to happen for you. It will come to you naturally, organically. It will be effortless. The advice here is to relax, to just allow, to let be. Um, and we have a canine once again showing up in your spread. So some of you could have 
an animal companion and you will be spending a lot of time with them in the next seven days or if you have an animal companion that has passed on that is on the other side know that this animal companion is with you in spirit they could definitely be one of your spirit guides and they are protecting you they are guiding you they are always by your side and for others of you um if you do have an animal companion if you can sleeping with your animal companion will be very healing for you or having your animal companion lay on top of you or be close to you physically will be very healing for you and it could be healing for you both, as well as comforting. Oh, and look, I did speak about a light physical activity, and we do have this person jumping rope. So jumping rope could be one of the physical activities that you could be doing, or that spirit is letting you know, hey, this physical activity could be very relaxing, comforting, and healing for you guys. It could be beneficial for your health. But I do want to pull out um, another card. I do see you guys being super protected in the next seven days. Protected energetically or spiritually. Or this could be indicating that you will be more mindful about your energy. We did kind of touch upon that when it comes to what it is that you consume. What kind of content you engage with. Yeah, what just came to mind, it's like energy or spiritual hygiene. Having energy or spiritual hygiene. Um, but the last message we have is care about the way you feel. Practice the art of allowing and guide yourself in a more unconditional way. And again, this is making me think of television um, because you have this like imagery of projection, projecting. Yeah, sometimes all that we consume is exactly what we project out into the world. So, yeah, for those of you who are creators or creatives, if you have been wanting to upgrade your work or if you have been feeling quite stuck when it comes to your creations, this could be Spirit's way of like kind of giving you guidance in terms to that by letting you know you need to experience something new, something different because experiencing the same thing it doesn't allow for our creative muscles to exercise. Or sometimes we tend to regurgitate everything that we consume. Yeah, because most of the time we can only share or put out what we know or what we have experienced our ourselves. So maybe this is advice to learn something new or expand your knowledge about something, gain new experience, um, see new things, consume different content that is more motivating and inspirational to you. And also, what we focus on is what we see more of. And it's not because we're manifesting it, but it's just because our focus is on that, so we are able to spot it faster. So, for example, if you're focusing on the color blue, you are going to see more of the color blue because that is what you're focused on. That is what is at the forefront of your mind. So you'll spot it more easily. Like the color blue is out there. It's not that you're manifesting it. It's just that you're spotting it more easily. Um, yeah, but these are all the messages I'm seeing for you guys. I hope you enjoyed this reading. If you did, then please leave a like or a comment. If you are new to this channel and you want to stick around for more readings with me, Kim, then please do subscribe. I do offer personal readings. All the information is in my website and the link to my website can be found in the description box down below. Um, yeah, but thanks so much for watching until the very end. Wishing you a wonderful rest of your day or night, depending on when you have tuned in to this channel. And until the next moment, bye-bye.